Yesterday, the light was switched out in our lives and our hearts have been broken forever. My mum and dad were the sweetest, kindest people that I've ever met. And would do anything for anyone. They were the beautiful parents of myself, Jason, Tad and Marie. Along with their sons and daughter-in-laws and their precious nana and grandma of eight grandchildren who adored them with all their hearts. We met every Friday night at Nanny and Grand. That's where all the family got together for food. Her mum played bingo and the card game with all the children. We saw it as prizes. It was nice and chaotic, but we would never miss a week. Mum worked at the grandchildren's school, a before and after school club, where she was known by everyone as Nanny Cow. She was like the Pied Piper with the children and their daughter. As everyone did. They would follow her around everywhere, and Thursdays was Nanny's special day when she would bring in sweets for all the children as a reward of being her stars. Some examples of messages that we've received this morning are Carol was a truly amazing woman. Your mum was one in a million and such a happy and positive lady, and the children love Nanny Carol at club. As a family who couldn't help being closer. <laughs> we did everything together. Holidays, Christmas, birthdays and weddings. And we adored each other and loved each other so much. Whoever has done this has not just taken two lives but a further sixteen. Our hearts are broken forever and our lives will never be the same. A little girl has a card for that and a prayer to God say, oh, I will really miss names tonight. I will give all my heart for you to keep them both safe as you possibly can. I really miss this dream. <laughs> <laughs> We're all struggling to come to terms with this tragedy. Not only has whoever did this taken two lives, but taken away our mum, dad, granddad, grandma, brother, sister, auntie and uncle. My brother did find my mum and dad. He is a policeman. I think you're all aware he's a human being as well. The hardest thing anyone could ever do is tell the children that they're never going to see <laughs> Nanny and Grandad again. I've got a baby one week old and I, I really don't know where to start. We're all hurting so much inside because they were so special, not only to us but to everybody who ever met them. They wouldn't hurt a fly and we just can't understand how this can happen. We're reaching out to anybody out there who could please, please help. No matter how little, how much they can, somebody out there knows who did this. So please, I beg of you, catch this person who's taken these two most special people away from us. Can you help us, babies, please? <laughs>